Hey guys, IB2 coming at you today from the kitchen. We're uh, home brewing some scent killer. And I'm gonna show you how to make, you can make four, four gallons of home brew scent killer and it'll cost you about 18 bucks total. And you know, as well as I know, that if you're gonna go buy the market name, uh, brand name scent killer, and you buy it a gallon at a time, it's gonna cost you about 25 bucks a gallon. So um, we're gonna do it for one quarter of the price, basically. Um, what you're gonna need is distilled water, uh, hydrogen peroxide, 3%, baking soda, and then if you so inclined, you can use some uh, uh, unscented laundry detergent to help it stick. I guess it's called like a surfactant. That it'll help it stick to the surfaces that you're spraying it on. And so what we're gonna do is go ahead and get started making this stuff and I'll show you the recipe. Okay, so first things first, the recipe I'm doing is a gallon at a time. So we're gonna do eight cups, distilled water, and the key is to get it warm so that we can, uh, be, the baking soda becomes soluble and you can get a clear liquid going. And then we're gonna do equal parts hydrogen peroxide. So eight cups water, eight cups peroxide, one cup baking soda. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that baking soda right now. And this water has been on the stove top, so it's nice and warm, uh, short of boiling. So we'll add this one cup here, roughly. And I just pour it in. And it's gonna be, as you can see, it's really, really white right now. Um, so what we do is we just keep stirring this up and you'll see in uh, not too long at a time, this baking soda will become soluble, break down, and it'll mix right with the water. I probably got this just a little too warm. It's bubbling on me a little, but I think we're gonna be okay. So you can see already that it's the whiteness is really taming down and it's getting more toward a clear color. And really it only takes probably less than another minute to get this uh, nice and clear. So just keep stirring it, keep stirring it. And again, this is half of your mixture. So what we're gonna do next is uh, add in the hydrogen peroxide equal parts. And then, like I said, if you're so inclined, put in a little bit of detergent, no scent, but not a lot because it's gonna make it bubbly on you. So you just, I don't know, half a teaspoon maybe. So this is mixing up pretty nice. And uh, I'll come back when it's nice and clear. Okay guys, see how that liquid is cleared right up? I found that if you keep the heat to it just a little bit, keep it under a boil and just keep stirring. This took about, I'm gonna say a little less than five minutes to get this and you can see a little steam coming off that water. So that's, that's about your temperature. That is ideal, I think, to get that baking soda to break down and, and uh, become soluble. And so you can see it's, I can see just a touch of sediment in there, but it is pretty darn clear from where we started. So now what we're gonna do is I turn that heat off. I'm gonna add my uh, eight cups of uh, peroxide. Thirty-two ounces, four cups. Get us up to eight cups here. And then my detergent that I have is Dead Down Wind. Uh, any detergent's gonna work. You just don't want something that's uh, fragrance. And I literally just touch it. And then uh, even there, you might see some suds start to uh, form. And so I'm gonna stir this here for about another minute. And then we're just gonna put it in a gallon jug 
and let it uh, react with each other for about three days and then uh, it's ready to go. So you can see these suds are uh, reacting with the warm water and the peroxide and the baking soda, which is okay. And it's gonna mix up together. All right, next I'm gonna fill the jug. For me to fill the jug, literally I just take a funnel and you got your clean distilled water. Funnel it up, fill it up, and then leave the cap off and go set it somewhere safe where it's not gonna tip over. Let it sit for about three days and then start filling your scent killer bottles and start using it. And that's what we're gonna do. So that's the process. Uh, one cup baking soda, eight cups or a half a gallon of distilled water, eight cups or a half a gallon of peroxide, a smidgen of laundry detergent, heat it so it's soluble, mix it so it's clear, uh, let it sit for three days, and then you're in business, like I said. So the math on this is, I spent 18 bucks on two gallons of distilled water, two gallons of peroxide, and the baking soda. Uh, you probably factor in a cap full of this too, but I got 18 bucks and that's gonna get me four gallons. So that's a little over four bucks a gallon, let's say five bucks a gallon. Go on Amazon, go on any hunting site right now, try to buy some uh, scent killer spray in a gallon and you're gonna pay 26, 30 bucks a gallon. We're doing it for four and a half. So get out there, give it a try. Let's go get them. <laughs>